Good afternoon class. I'm Mr. Elmer Eugenio Riotok. So I will be teaching you first aid and water survival. So our first topic for uh, the preliminary for the prelims will be uh, the introduction of first aid. First will be the introduction of general first aid. Then the second module will focus on the different illnesses and diseases. Uh, diseases and illnesses uh, and the first aids of these uh, illnesses and diseases. Then uh, for the midterm exam or for the for the midterms, we will be talking about bandaging and uh, artificial uh, respiration as well as cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Then the finals, for our finals, we will be focusing on the swimming or the water survival. So, uh, are you ready? So, I will be now teaching the introduction for first aid. So, why is it necessary to, to tackle first aid for low enforcers like you? So, napaka-importante because kayo ang kinoconsider na frontliner. In, in emergency situation, who are the, who are the first a group of people who will be going to the scene it should be the policemen okay or the law enforcers so after the policemen um, the uh, fire uh, fire truck or the fire uh, yung mga bumbero or the fire uh, fireman yung susunod then uh, after that will be the medical team or the ambulance. Okay, so uh, kayo ang mauuna. You are the front line liner in an emergency situation. So like for example, in what cases? Ano ba yung mga kaso na uh, um, or mga scenarios na nangangailangan ng first aid? So natural disasters like floods, earthquake, um, tsunami, um, uh, typhoon. So, kailangan, kailangan na kailangan ng first aid training uh, para makatulong tayo. Okay? So, we will begin now. Okay. So, what is first aid? First, what is first aid? So, first aid is an emergency care for a victim of a sudden illness or injury until more skillful uh, medical treatment is available. So, sabi niya dito, sudden illness or injury. What are the sudden illness? Injury, alam na natin yan. Mga bone injury, skeletal injury. Pag na-fracture ka, na you have a gunshot wound, you have, you are under uh, accident, nagkaroon ka ng mga abrasions, wounds, so, nakagat ka ng aso, nakagat ka ng ahas, these are sudden injury. Well, what about illness? Sudden illness, uh, for example, biglang nahirapan kang huminga, okay? Nahirapan kang huminga because of asthma attack, okay? Or hyperventilation, uh, heat exhaustion, uh, heart attack, stroke. These are sudden illnesses. Okay, so sabi pa niya dito, until more skillful medical treatment is available. So, kailangan mong gumawa before mo i -re refer yung victim mo sa hospital to the nearest. Actually, it should be to the nearest hospital. Okay, it's not the hospital choice of the patient, but it should always be the nearest hospital. Ay, pinakamahal na hospital yan. The patient should be sent at the nearest hospital or clinic. Because we are dealing with life. Okay? We are dealing ang 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 pinag-uusapan na natin dito ay buhay. It is not the law. It is life. Okay? Because the most important in 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 
in the world, sa mundo natin, ang pinaka-importante ay buhay ng isang tao. So, until more skillful medical treatment is available, sabi niya, you are not there to treat, okay? You are just there to help, to alleviate, to prolong life, para makatulong, para hindi grumabe, or hindi mapa, hindi uh, it will not cause further injury or serious more serious illness sa isang victim okay so another another uh, definition is first aid is an immediate care given to a person who has been injured or suddenly become yeah, so it includes as well self-help, okay? So magiging policeman kayo, baka mamaya pupunta kayo sa mga giyera or sa mga madukong labanan. It is very important that you need to know how to uh, take care of yourself as well. But especially if you are one of the casualty. Baka mamaya eh, instead of helping eh, nadamay ka, Okay? Napakalaga ng buhay ng isang police enforcer because in a in a situation like that the most your mo, the most important uh, thing in, to that is your self okay wag maging hero with hero, hero baka mamaya eh para sa pagiging nagpakabayani ka naman ng bigla bigla eh pan isipin mo you have also a family may pamilya kang uuwian Okay? Meron kang pamilyang may mga anak kong pag-aaralin. May mga tao pang uh, umaasa sa'yo. Okay? So, isipin mo, mahalaga ang trabaho mo, pero mas mahalaga ang sarili mo. Okay? You are the most important person during this uh, emergency cases. Okay? So, the definition of terms... Uh, is already a self-explanatory. Okay? So, basahin nyo na lang yung mga, mga definition of terms na yan. Then, if you cannot understand, uh, there is uh, things that is uh, vague or hindi masyadong naiintindihan, then try to consult me through our Facebook group chat. Okay? So, and immediately, I will be given my uh, response to um, your queries with regards to the subject matter. Okay, so let's talk about the characteristic of first eater. So what are the characteristic of first eater? So first characteristic of first eater is being gentle. Okay, so napaka-importante na maging gentle kayo sa as a first aider. So, gentle, the first aider should not cause pain to the victim or patient. Wag namang, baka mamaya, dinidiin mo na yung mga pagkumuha ka lang ng heart rate, eh, sobrang diin, eh, alam mo naman, once that the, 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 the victim is already injured, he, he or she is already experiencing extreme pain. And if you added another pain because of your ungentleness to the victim, baka mag, mas lalong magiging critical or magiging serious yung problema ng pasyente natin. So, you need to always be as gentle as uh, being a, be, be a gentleman this time, okay? Uh, because you will become a future law enforcers. So next is observant. You need to be, I know, you need to be resourceful. R, for resourceful, you need to be resourceful. Resourceful. The first aider should make the best use of things at hand. So, nasa situation ka na, na biglang nakarating ka sa lugar, Eh, na may nakita kong disgrasya, baka maghanap ka pa ng band aid. Eh, wala ka namang dalang band aid. Ang meron ay gasa or uh, a cloth. Eh, yun na yung gamitin mo. Okay? So, uh, gumawa ka ng mga paraan na makakatulong ka sa victim mo by using the things that surrounds you. Okay? Or for example, 
na injure yung kamay ng pasyente, there is already fracture. Eh, sabi mo sa sarili mo, ang solusyon dito is immobilization, meaning you will not move the part of the part that is being fractured. So, anong gagawin mo? So, maglalagay ka ng splint or a thing na nakakatulong doon sa area para hindi gumalaw. Okay? So, wala ka namang splint na makikita doon. So, anong meron? Nakakita ka ng, ng kahoy or uh, a stick? You can use that. Okay? You can use that to to immobilize the area. So, wag ka nang maghanap ng kung ano-ano pa. Okay? Uh, make Sabi nga niyan, dyan sa definition, make the best use of things at hand. As long as it will not worsen the uh, problem. It will not worsen the situation. Okay? Baka naman napakarumi nung nilagay mo, eh hindi yun na yun makakatulong. Okay? So, tignan mo. And sabi nga nila, in the medical profession, you need to always be ready you need to always you need to you need to be alert but with the presence of mind okay because you are not dealing with computers you are not dealing with with papers you are not dealing with numbers you are dealing we are dealing with life isang pagkakamali mo pwedeng mamatay yung biktima okay so, next is o oh, observant. So, you need to be observant. You need to notice all the signs and symptoms that is being present to the victim. So, the first either should notice all signs and symptoms of the illness. Baka naman mamaya, mamamatay na yung pasyente ang tagal-tagal mo pang gumalaw. So, you need to know the signs and symptoms that is being present to the to the victim. So, for, uh, like for example, ngayong sitwasyon ngayon, eh, nakita mo ubu-ubu-ubu yung pasyente, eh, nag-mouth-to-mouth resuscitation ka pa, eh, uso ngayon yung COVID, di nakuha ka. You, 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 you cannot help, you, you, you did not help your patient. You help your patient, but you put yourself at risk. So, um, as what I have said kanina, you are the most important person during emergency cases. Okay? hindi sila yung papatay sa iyo okay napaka-importante mo marami ka pang matutulungan okay so be observant observant with the environment observant with the signs and symptoms of the patient baka mamaya uh, may mga kalaban pa o di ba nagpuputukan eh andun ka pa o di chusunga-sunga ka na na tamaan ka ng bala o kasama ka pa sa mga casualty Okay? So, next is be tactful. Tactful. Okay? The first aider should not alarm the victim or patient. So, you don't need to alarm them. Baka mamaya, naputol na yung paa ng pasyente natin or naputol na yung kamay ng victim mo o napamupinido at kinuha mo at pinakita mo pa sa kanya na ma'am, ito po yung kamay nyo na nahiwalay sa uh, in your arm. So, biglang na alarma or ninervyos yung pasyente natin or yung victim natin. Don't let them see the injured part. Okay? In first aid, do not let them see the injured part. It may brought a serious problem or uh, magiging komplikado lang ang lahat-lahat. Baka mamaya, akikikis niya yan. Humihiyaw na yan. O, tapos, biglang tumaas yung blood pressure, tumaas yung heart rate, that will cause now increased breathing that may lead to death. Okay? So, um, be tactful. Okay? Next is, be sympathetic. Sympathetic, the first aid should be comforting on the feelings and pain experienced by the victim or patient. So, sympathetic meaning, putting yourself to the shoe of other, okay? Putting yourself to the situation of the other people. Eh, paano, paano kung ako pala? Ako pala yung nadiskrasya. Okay? Paano kung parent mo? Paano kung mother mo, father mo? Paano kung kapatid mo, lolo mo, relative mo? Okay? Tapos, hindi sila maingat. Hindi, ka, hindi sila nag, hindi sila nag-ingat. Diba magagalit ka? So, isipin mo, Oh, if you were in that situation, so dapat lahat ng gagawin mo tama. Okay? Lahat ng gagawin mo nakakatulong doon sa biktima. Because as what I have said, it's uh, just a one mistake. Isang pagkakamali lang. 
uh, buhay ang nakasalalay. Okay? Life. We are talking uh, we are not talking about law here. We are not talking about mathematics. We are not talking about anything. We are talking about life. Okay? And life is the most precious gift from God. So, napaka-importante ng buhay. Okay? And number six is C. Cheerful. You need to be cheerful. Okay? So, the first either should be a happy expression that inspires confidence. Okay? So, ang kamit nga ti agmurmure griga kung unget. Okay? Because your smile may lessen the worriness of the victim. Kasi, the more nakalma yung victima, the more na uh, mas lesser yung complication right after the injury or like right after the uh, situation okay so that are that's are the that were the characteristic i mean of first aider so you need to be observant resourceful gentle or you need to be gentle resourceful observant tactful sympathetic and cheerful so the mnemonic of that is grots g r o t s c okay for you to easier to for for you to easily memorize it okay next is what are the objectives or goals of first a so the the the, the objectives of the first objective of first of first aider so what are the goals of first aid uh, or first aid so the first goal of first aid is is to alleviate to alleviate suffering okay we need to alleviate the suffering of the victim okay so one of the main objective is to be able to help uh, to reduce or totally alleviate. Meaning, alleviate is to lessen, to lessen the suffering of the victim. For example, eh, nauubusan na siya ng tubo, eh, naglagay ka ng, mga, ng tourniquet, so probably it could help uh, to stop the bleeding. So, that is alleviating the suffering of the victim or the patient so next is prevent further injury damage or danger or it's also sometimes called prevent the condition from worsening or danger of further injuries like for example if you have seen a victim that is being in a situation wherein he was he met a car accident or vehicular accident wherein nandoon pa naipit siya so sa pagtulong mo uh, by uh, sa pag pagtanggal mo sa victim doon sa uh, sa sasakyan that is already preventing further injury or danger to the victim and the last is to prolong life okay so first aid measure aims to preserve and sustain life also to save the victim from imminent danger so um, by helping or by doing the first aid uh, you are prolonging the life of our victim okay ba mali mo baka pang kung wala kang ginawa so meaning um, there is a possibility that the client or the victim our victim will die um, then if you do first aid uh, naman, it prolongs the life of the Victim. Okay, so what are the importance of first aid? First is to save life. Okay, to save life. Then to prevent permanent disability. For example, uh, natanggal yung paa, natanggal yung kamay. Is there a possibility, sir? Sorry, there is there a possibility na pwede pa pong ikabit? Yes, pwede pa pong ikabit. Eh, pwede ikabit pa yung natanggal na parte ng katawan ng isang tao unless kung ulo na you cannot yung hindi mo na pwedeng tanggalin hindi, hindi mo na natin pwedeng ibalik yung natanggal na ulo uh, pero kung mga limbs lang mga kamay pa uh, there is a possibility that uh, pwedeng maikabit pa yan okay as long as uh, immediately after ng pagkakatanggal niya o pagkakadetouch niya sa katawan natin, you need to put the, 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 the detached part of the body 
in a clean um, plastic bag, then put it in a uh, in a cold bag or ice pack with an ice pack para at least uh, ma-preserve yung parte na natanggal or na-detach sa katawan natin. Okay? Then, immediately, uh, isama mo siya sa pasyente doon sa hospital na pupuntahan niya. Baka naman uh, nilagay yung pasyente sa provincial hospital, tapos yung naputol na kamay nilagay mo sa Mariano Marcos Memorial Hospital. Eh, mali na yun, okay? So, napaka-importante na parehong hospital ang paglalagyan mo ng na-detach na part at saka yung victim, okay? So, to reduce prolonged hospitalization. Eh, balay mo, baka, ano, um, probably, uh, if you do not do first aid sa pasyente natin or sa victim, it the, the victim will take mga one week or two weeks sa hospital. But because may ginawa ka, mga two days lang siya or one day lang sa hospital. So, what are the basic life saving steps? Ito, uh, very critical to, okay? So, first, I will be demonstrating how to how to check for the blood circulation or the pulse. Uh, you need to check the breathing and you need to check for the bleeding as well as check for shock. Okay, so I have with me Damis. Okay, I have Damis with me and I will teach you how to properly check for the vital functioning of the, of our Victim. Okay, so first is blood circulation. So, sabi niya dyan, pulse, or uh, most importantly, in checking the blood circulation, pulse ang pinakauna nating iti-check. Before, before the blood pressure, you need to check first the pulse. Kasi yan ang pinakamadali na i-check natin pag uh, buhay na, na yung um, if uh, we are now checking the presence of life for a victim. Okay, kung buhay pa ba o hindi. Okay? Pag adult, in an adult, we need to check the pulse at the carotid artery. Okay? Carotid, spelling C-A-R-O-T-I-D. Okay? Carotid artery. Where can we find our carotid artery? We can find our carotid artery at the, or beside the neck. Okay? Dito. Okay? You need to palpate it with your two fingers, okay? Your pointer finger and your middle finger, okay? So here, you, you will palpate it and feel the presence or feel the pulsation of the pulse, okay? If you cannot feel the pulsation of the pulse for probably 10 seconds, then probably the patient is already dead. But if you can feel it, then there is a life. Maiintindihan. Okay, so, paano naman po sir pag bata? Eh, wala naman po siyang neck. Okay, you cannot, find, you cannot find the neck. Walang pong neck ang mga bata or pasyadong mataba yung bata. Kasi alam mo yung bata parang Dora, di ba? Nakaganun lang siya. O, ulo, tapos katawan agad. Okay, so, how? How, how we will check? So, pag, pag sa mga ganitong bata, we will check the the pulse at the brachial artery. Where can we find our brachial artery? Dito sa my, dito sa my middle arm. Okay, you can find the the you can find the the brachial artery at the middle finger. Okay, dito. Okay. Next is. Breathing. Breathing. How can we check breathing? Okay. We can check the breathing in, in three ways. Okay. First is by looking. Okay. You need to look at the chest. At the chest part, you need to look the up and down movement of the chest. If there is an up and down movement of the chest, the patient is probably breathing. Okay. It is always probably breathing. Okay. Then, what else? Look, listen. You need to listen. Listen to the breath sounds. Okay? Listen to the breath sound. And lastly, feel. You need to feel. Ano ba ang 
uh, feeling ng ano, nung sinangawa natin kay like, kay classmate mo na bang bang sit, di ba? Ano at aside from na bang sit, ana pa na pudot, di ba? So, mainit yung buga nung bunga nga nung victim natin. Many there is an air coming out. Okay? How? Paano po, sir? So, you need to position yourself, your ears to the nose of the victim. Then, your your cheek at the mouth of the victim and your eyes should focus on the chest of the victim. So, like this. Okay? Okay. So, your eyes should focus on that part. Okay? To look for the rise and fall of the chest. Okay? Okay. Ay ko. So, paano naman pagbata? Paano naman pagbata? Yun lang din. O, ganito. Okay? Ganito. Okay? Ganito. Okay? So, next topic is the bleeding. Okay? How, how do we know that the patient is bleeding? So, you need to check Sepalucaudal, okay? Sepalucaudal is spelled C-E-P-H-A-L-A-U-D-A-C-A-L. Sepalucaudal, C-A-P-H-A-L-O-C-A-U-D-A-L. Sepalucaudal, okay? Paano po yung sepalucaudal? From head to toe assessment. So, mag-check mo yung ulo pa baba. Tignan mo if there is a bleeding, a presence of bleeding doon sa victim natin. How do we know, sir, that there is already hemorrhage? If there is already 500 cc or 500 ml of blood loss, that is already hemorrhage and that is already critical. Oh, for example, nadungpar o oh, naibagok yung ulo na, eh ang dami-dami na. Okay? So, kumuha ka ng 500 na ml na tubig, isabog mo doon. Then, makikita mo yung circumference or the diameter ng tubig na uh, na tinapon mo. Pag ganyan, or the, yan yung diameter na nakita mo na nagkalat doon, possibly the patient is in hemorrhage. Okay? And hemorrhage is a very critical. Okay? Very serious na yan. Kasi pag nawalan ka ng dugo, nawalan ka ng oxygen because the blood carries oxygen in the body. Okay? Our brain needs oxygen to function well. The heart needs oxygen to function well. If there is no oxygen anymore in the blood or there is no blood anymore in the body, there is that is uh they are um relatively Uh, they are related. Okay? Pag nawala yung isa, mawawala din yung isa. Okay? And lastly is check for shock. So, in the second part of the module or the module 2, I'll be discussing to you shock. Okay? So, um, sir, how can we know that, it, that the patient is already abnormal or the patient is already in a critical condition if we don't know the 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 normal range of heart rate and ano okay so for heart rate or the pulse the normal is 60 to 100 okay for an adult while 60 to 100 beats beats so it's a beating of the heart beats of beats per minute dapat may 60 hanggang 100 na beats yung puso niya or yung pulse niya okay yung pulse niya para makonsider mo na normal yung pasyente or yung victim. While breathing is 12 to 20. Labing dalawa, 12 hanggang 20. Dalawang po na paghinga that is considered normal. Okay? The patient is alive and normal. Okay? So, next. What are the purposes of first aid training? So, Number one, to prevent accidents. Okay? To prevent accidents. Okay? Para malaman natin. Okay? 
uh, next is to train people to do the right thing at the right time because as what I have said, hindi napaka-importante na marunong din yung ibang tao. Ikaw na na-training para maturuan mo yung ibang tao because you can you can not do uh, alone. Hindi mo kayang gawin mag-isa ang first aiding. Especially if the patient is mas mataba sa'yo or mas matangkad sa'yo or there are uh, more than one victims, hindi mo kaya yung mag-isa. You will become exhausted. Okay? ma exhaust ka lang. And as what I have said, you are the most per important person during emergency cases. Okay? To prevent added injury para makatu para in baka mamaya tumulong ka nga pero natinag mo yung client because natinag mo yung victim because of improper handling or improper transfer, improper carrying of the, of the victim. Okay? Next is to provide proper transportation if necessary and to give first aid for a large number of persons caught in a natural disaster. Para mas, mas mabalis ka, okay? Pa kung alam mo na lahat ng iba't ibang kaso or ha, you are bi bihasa ka na sa pagbibigay first aid, mas madali at mas mabilis, okay? Mas marami kang matutulungan, okay? So, the next topic is general direction of first aid first aiding so first is don't panic the first aider must remain calm so that he or she has a clear mind during the emergency situation you need to be alert but you need to have a presence of mind dapat may presence of mind ka kasi we are dealing about life okay we're dealing with life Ma ang sinasabi ko don't panic okay assess yourself kaya ko ba to do I need, do I really know this? Do I, do, uh, am I trained to do this? Okay? Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, ay, nagkamali po ako ng hulog. Pasensya po. Eh, you're dealing with life. Namatay. Okay? So, hindi po pwede na, uh, hindi ka pwedeng magkamali pagdating sa buhay. Okay? Kasi wala yung pangalawang buhay. Wala tayong pangalawang buhay. Okay? So, next is ensure the safety of the area. You need to check the area, survey the scene. That's what they have said. You need to survey the scene. Tignan mo, am I really safe? Am I safe in going to help? Baka mamaya nagpuputukan pa eh, nagpabibo ka, o pupunta ka, or may bomba pa pala na hindi sumabog, eh pumunta ka at nadamay ka pa. Naging casual, di ka tuloy. Okay? So, you need to ensure the safety of the area. Or, probably, pag nasa gitna ng taan, itabi mo muna. Okay? If, hindi mo, hindi, uh, if kaya naman niyang tumayo, then itabi mo yung victim natin. Okay? Para, baka mamay may humarurot na sasakyan na damay or mas grumabe pa yung uh, lumala yung uh, nangyari sa pasyente or sa victim. Or, you need to cordon. I-cordon mo muna yung area. You need to cordon the area by uh, cordon belt. Okay? Okay. In through that, um, you can assure the safety of the scene. Okay? So, next is check for vital function. I've already uh, discussed to you how to check the vital function of the uh, client or of the victim. So, check the pulse, check the heart rate, or check the heart rate, check the pulse, check the respiration, as well as check the airway. Okay? Check the airway of the victim. By how? Okay? I have with me my dummy. So, how to properly check the airway? So, in checking the airway, there are two ways, okay? First is the chin lift, head tilt chin lift, okay? So, this is the head, okay? Okay, head tilt chin lift, okay? Then, titignan mo if there is an obstruction. Baka naman nakatilmon itipiso or na-choke. Eh, buo nga sinuman, yakinan na. O, tignan mo kaya pala hindi nakahinga kasi nabilaukan, Okay? So, what else? Ano pa? Isang way pa and how to check the, the, the airway is by um, jaw thrust maneuver. This is our jaw. Okay? This is the mandibul mandibular bone. Okay? The mandibular bone is considered as the jaw bone. Okay? Ito'y. Ito'y. Pa nga. 
Okay? So, igaganun mo. Okay? Igaganun mo. Then, titignan mo if there is a obstruction. Okay? Then, later on, uh, sa CPR, I'll be demonstrating to you the proper technique of how to detach or of how to remove the obstructed um, yung obstruction. Okay? Doon sa pasyente. Okay? So, when? When will we uh, do Jotras Manub? Sir, dalawa. Kung so, pwede po ba na kahit ano, uh, kahit ano na lang. Okay? Hindi. Okay? So, yung, yung head tilt, chin lift, you can do that if there is no spinal cord injury sa pasyente. But, if you suspect that there is a spinal cord injury, then use the Chow Trash Maneuver. Okay? Like, for example, natin nag EJ building or natin nag tiagdan. So, isasabihin, ko, isasabihin mo pa ba na, ay, head tilt chin lift, you, you will now consider it as you will now suspect uh, the patient that he or she suffers from spinal cord injury. What else? Vehicular accident. O, ano pa? Um, fall. Uh, Na-fall ka sa ibang tao. O, so, ang gagawin mo, head tilt, chin lift. Okay? Pero, wag mong, baka mit bisungim kung na-fall na ka sa ibang tao. Okay? So, uh, yun. Uh, that is the difference between uh, Joe Trash Maneuver. I'll be uh, giving the correct spelling in our group chat. So, please um, check nyo na lang yung spelling ng Joe Trash Maneuver and Head Tilt Chin Lift because I forgot to put that in our um, in the module. Okay? So, next is check for injuries. So, you need to check for injuries. So, paano mag-check ng injuries? Kanina sabi ko, sepalo caudal. From hulo, from ulo, from ulo hanggang sa baba. Okay? You need to check for injuries. You need to check for bleeding. You need to check for abrasion, for fracture. Dapat i-check mo yan lahat-lahat. Okay? You need to check the, the color of the skin. You need to check for the movement of the body. Baka mamaya hindi na niya pala maikalaw yung parte ng katawan niya. So, you need to report that to the medical team. Hindi ikaw ang gagamot. You are not the doctor here. You are just the first aider. Okay? So, next is give the needed first aid urgently. So, ibigay mo na yung, yung, yung first aid which will be tackled in the second module. Then, keep the victim lying down. Wag, wag galaw ng galaw ng pasyente. Wag nang galaw galawin yung pasyente. Because the more movement of the patient, the more we mobilize the patient or the victim, the more na magwo-worsen yung sitwasyon. Okay? Next is keep the victim warm. Keep the victim warm. Next is keeping the victim warm. Because if we keep the victim warm, there is a faster increasing of the circulation in the body. As what I have said kanina, blood carries oxygen as well as nutrients, vitamins in the body. So, the faster that, the, the, the faster the circulation, the faster the absorption of minerals, vitamins, as well as oxygen inside the body. Okay? So, the victim uh, next is do not give fluids to an unconscious or partly conscious person. So, wag mong painumin yung natalimu daw garuden, pinainum mo pa lang titanong. So, mali. Mali yung usually na ginagawa natin na pag may na, nahimatay, too big, too big, too big yung ibibigay mo. No, you need to, to do that because there is a fear or there is a possible asphyxation or tinatawag doon. Meaning, as uh, yung tubig na punta doon sa lungs. Okay? Si kapay, in napuy pa iti maikabil ta lungs mo, nahihirapan ka pa. What more pag tubig yung nakalagay? Okay? So, please, so please, um, don't give water. Okay? Don't give water. Because it will block the airway passage. Okay? It blocks the airway passage into the lungs, thus causing the death of the victim. 
Okay, following injury, do not leave a gasping person by the belt, okay? Because it will cause more serious injury to the spinal cord, okay? Reassure the victim, reassure the victim, but don't give false reassurances. Wag mong sabi, ay, ma'am, malayo pa yan sa bituka. Eh, lumalabas na yung bituka niya, di ba? Natanggal yung paa niya. O, malayo yan, malayo pa yan sa bituka. Or, nabagok yung ulo niya at nang dami-daming na walang dugo. Sabihin mo, okay lang po kayo. It's not okay. Okay? Okay? So, I reassure them, but do not give false reassurances. Okay? So, magpakatutuo ka, pero in a very calm manner. As what I have discussed kanina, you need to, to be tactful and you need to be gentle. Okay? Be reluctant to make a statement. Huwag mong sabihin, ay ma'am, ano po? Uh, diabetic po kayo. Kaya po kayo nahimatay kasi masyadong kulang na po yung sugar sa katawan ninyo. Hindi ka doktor. You are just a first aider, okay? You are not the doctor. You are there just to give first aid. Okay? Paunang lunas. Okay? Just to help them. Okay? Just to help them. Then, materials needed for first aid training is strip of cloth, 2 inches, 3 inches, or 4 inches wide by 36 and 2 blankets or mats, triangular bandage, and so on. So, uh, it was already written in your uh, module. So, the, what are the basic equipments for first aid? First is spine board. So, saan natin gagamitin yung spine board? It will use to for the victim or to lessen the spinal cord injury. Okay? Short board or Kendrick's extrication device. Saan naman natin ito gagamitin? Yung Kendrick's extrication device. You, we will use the Kendrick's extrication device if the patient is trapped in a vehicle. Okay? Pag nasa vehicle, saan na-trap siya? Okay? Naipit. Kasi, syempre, pag tinanggal mo yung victim, gagalaw-galawin mo. So, naglalagay tayo ng Kendrick's extrication device para at least stabilize lang yung spinal cord ng victim natin. Okay? Next is sets of splints. So, sets of splint. Maraming yung L splint, um, yung splint for the hands, pwede rin, and yung mga uh, splints for the fingers, meron din. Okay? So, there are different sets of splints. Anong gamit ng splint? To immobilize the affected body part. Next is Pulse. O, saan natin ginagamit yung pulse? We use the pulse to transfer or lift the victim. We need, if, we will, if we will to lift or transfer the victim, we use pulse. Okay? And lastly is blankets. Usually, ang ginagamit natin blankets is aluminum blankets. Uh, especially if the patient is suffering from hypothermia. 34 degrees centigrade or 34 degrees centigrade Celsius yung, yung temperature mo, you will be probably dying. Okay? Pwede ka nang mamatay pag masyado nang mababa yung uh, temperature mo because that is abnormal. Okay? Uh, we are, we human are warm-blooded. Okay? So, we need to maintain a warm blood a, or, or a warm body. Then, rubbing alcohol. Or what are the suggested contents of first aid? Sorry. What are the suggested contents of first aid kit? So, first is rubbing alcohol. Then, it should be 70% para mamatay yung, yung bacteria or virus, yung mga foreign body. Then, povidone iodine. Povidone iodine, if you don't know, is the betadine. The betadine kasi is the brand name. Okay? Uh, that is an antiseptic. Cotton or kapas or gula. Ghost pads, okay, should be sterile. Sterile meaning there is an absence of uh, absence of foreign body, okay, in the pads. Then tank the present, we usually use that to check for the airway passage, okay. Pen light, uh, we use that uh, by checking the constriction of the eye because uh, if there is no constriction of the eye already, probably the, the victim is already dead. Okay? Or, pang tingin natin sa mga parte or like for example, sa tenga, baka may, may, may mga dugo na pala na lumalabas. So, uh, we need to check that.
okay band aid gloves um so next discussion natin i'll be teaching you how to properly use gloves scissors forceps or the the twister okay triangular bandage elastic roller bandage occlusive dressing and plaster okay so that will that is the end of uh, my discussion with the first aid uh introduction to first aid uh topic uh, with regards to your activity that is being posted or uh, printed in your module, uh, the direction is already there. So please, um, I will be providing the groups um, in your uh, activity. Uh, in your first activity, I'll be sending to you the deadline of submission. And... Um, for the second activity, it will be forwarded to me when we when the time you will get your second module. Okay, so thank you for listening. I I hope that you understand the lesson very well. If you feel uh, that I have missed or you cannot understand certain topics in the module, feel free to ask. Uh, I will be giving supplement. I will be giving you uh, video supplementation to further discuss topics that is not understand by you. So please keep in touch by in our FB and some announcement in our FB page. So thank you and God bless.